What's up guys? This is Jigs Crypto and welcome to my channel. All of the links for the news are in the description below if you want to check it out. Also, make sure to like the video to help this channel. It also helps people to discover our videos in this channel. Now let's take a look at our daily crypto news. First up, this is coming from aljazeera.com. Australia's Central Bank launches digital currency pilot. So as we highlighted coming from the um, article, Australia's Central Bank has unveiled plans to examine the potential economic benefits of introducing a central bank digital currency, um, or CBDC. Um, the Reserve Bank of Australia, or RBA, um, said in a statement on Tuesday it would carry out a year-long pilot project to explore innovative use cases and business models for a CBDC and gain a better understanding of technological, legal, and regulatory considerations. Um, the RBA will partner with the Digital Finance Cooperative Research Center or DFCRC, a government-backed um, industry group for the project, which will invite industry players to develop specific use cases that demonstrate how a CBDC could provide innovative payment and settlement services to households and businesses. So, yeah, well, um, we need to do, do some more research regarding CBDC or um, you know, central bank digital currency. Um, I know it's not only Australia that is trying to uh, uh, pile or try a um, exploration regarding CBDC. There are other countries also. We'll we'll we'll, we'll discuss or we'll have that uh, mentioned in in the later part of this article. So the result, of the pilot will inform ongoing research into the. Desirability and feasibility of a CBDC in Australia, the RBA said. So, as quoted, this project is an important next step in our research on CBDC, as per RBA Deputy Governor Michelle Bullock said in a statement. So, another quotation, we are looking forward to engaging with a wide, wide range of industry participants to better understand the potential benefits of a CBDC could bring to Australia. So, and lastly, so as I said, about 100 countries are considering rolling out CBDCs according to the International Monetary Fund um, with a number of jurisdictions including China and Bahamas already distributing their digital currencies among public. So, uh, so yeah, there are a lot of countries uh, will uh, try to explore CBDC. Uh, we'll have more news regarding this. Uh, there's just something that struck me. So it said here, International Man Monetary Fund. So acronym is IMF. <laughs> uh, lately, I was uh, I was watching a lot of uh, the movie series um, of Mission Impossible. <laughs> And IMF, um, uh, I know the their organization is called IMF. Uh, what is it called? Impossible Mission F something? <laughs> uh, I forgot. Uh, comment down below if you remember what IMF means in the movie Mission Impossible. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to the next um, this uh, story here. This is coming from businessmirror.com.ph. Um, Thai central bank to get more powers in crypto law overhaul. So um, Thailand plans to overhaul its digital rules to confer more uh, powers on the central bank and tighten the oversight of platforms offering cryptocurrencies and other tokens after a recent mar market route. Um, left retail investors reeling from losses, right? So I think they're uh, going to be more cautious uh, regarding uh, how, how 
the Thai government implements um, crypto in their country because of the um, recent um, news from other exchanges that they're shutting down, you know, increasing withdrawals. So I think not just Thailand, most of the countries are being cautious right now uh, on how they want um, exchanges uh, to be accepted in their countries. So let's go, let's go read some more with the article from from this from this news. So the move to tighten the rules comes after Thai authorities were criticized for not acting promptly to protect investors at Sipmex Thailand. So uh, we have some news before from Sipmex. You can probably uh, look it. Uh, at our previous um, uh, news videos. So, a licensed cryptocurrency exchange that briefly suspended coin withdrawal, so that's Sipmex. While the platform has since lifted most of the priests on transactions, it has filed for a mo mo moratorium in Singapore for protection from creditors against any lawsuits and to buy time for raising funds. So, uh, wait. For the other news on these videos, we have some more news with Sipmex later on. Um, let's just do a quick so here. So we'll we'll touch on that. Going back to the Thai Central Bank um, crypto law overhaul here. So as quoted, right now the central bank has no room to enter into the regulatory framework, except for notifying that cryptos are not legal means of payment for goods and services. This is from Arcom, uh, as is, as it was said in uh, last Monday. Uh, so the framework is not clear enough to regulate the industry. And while the Bank of Thailand Governor Setaput Sutiwar Nariyaput, I hope I pronounce it right. So please comment down below if it's uh, the correct pronunciation for for the name. Uh, Ma said the authority wants to draw red lines on cryptos. Um, it is set to test a central bank digital currency by the end of uh, the year in a pilot project. Um, but it has no plans yet to issue a retail CDBC, it said last week. So we have our pre previous news from Australia. So they want to pilot also a CD CBDC. And I think Thailand is going through with the CBDC right now. Um, they're testing it until end of the year this year. So we'll see. Maybe we'll have some more news also with um, Thailand regarding their pilot of the CBDC. All right. We need to take some more research regarding um, um, CBDC, right? Our next news is coming from forecast.news. Um, China shuts. 13,000 social media accounts for promoting crypto investment. We highlighted from the story, China has shut down nearly 13,000 accounts advocating cryptocurrency investments on popular Chinese social media platforms this year. So deleted 51,000 related posts and closed 105 websites offering crypto-related information. The Cyberspace Administration of China announced on Tuesday. So they ha they have this um, administration called Cyberspace Administration of China or CAC. Uh, maybe they're, they're the ones who are monitoring all of the um, stuff regarding, you know, cyberspace uh, websites, you know, social medias, all, all of those kind of stuff um, regarding the internet <laughs> information so within china space um so past packs, this is coming from the article the cac said the account deletion campaign is to enforce the decisions of china's communist party adding that it identified many accounts based on tips from users on social media so cac said it would continue to sur suppress illegal financial activities related to cyber cryptocurrencies in cooperation with other authorities. 
So, China banned cryptocurrency trading and mining last September. Uh, probably this September they're mentioning last year. So, Despite the crackdowns, China still ranks second in the world for cryptocurrency mining with 21% of the mining hash rate as many crypto miners in the country went underground. Wow. So, so yeah, still second with the cryptocurrency mining with 21%. And meanwhile, some Web3 firms based in China are relocating to Singapore due to regulatory uncertainty and repeated zero COVID lockdowns in China. Right? Um, maybe there will be some more news from the Cyber Administration of China. So always tune in with our um, videos and please like the videos um, and also don't forget to subscribe uh, and you know hit the notification bell uh, so that you'll get updated with you know our latest news daily news so going to the next um, news right here this is coming from businessstandard.com um, tornado's crypto token torn nose dives after u.s imposed sanctions so um I, I highlighted two um, sentences here from coming from the article. So, North Korea's Lazarus Group used Tornado to launder money stolen in large crypto hacks, according to U.S. authorities. So, you know, North Korea, uh, there's a group in North Korea, it's called Lazarus Group, and they're using Tornado to launder money, you know, from stolen um, crypto hacks, so whoa, that's that's a bad news for this for this token. Um, another one that I highlighted co coming from the um, article here: uh, Tornado Cash token torn fell sharply on Tuesday after the U.S. Treasury um, Department imposed sanctions on the cryptocurrency mixer. Um, so Torn is the native token of Tornado Cash, um, a popular cryptocurrency service which allows users to mass their transactions by mixing funds from different sources before transmitting them to the ultimate beneficiary. This feature has made it uh, a prepared tool for hackers and criminals to launder stolen or illicit acquired funds. Hmm. Um, I think it makes sense that you know they're using tornado um as it said you know um the transactions are being mass um and then they're mixing funds on that transactions and then uh once they're good with masking of the transactions um they'll be transmitting all of those in the ultimate beneficiary so wow <laughs> Um, coming from the article also, Tornado Cash was also used to launder punch, uh, punts stolen in the 600 million Ronin Bridge hack in March. Wow. As well as the 100 million loot from the Harmony Bridge exploit in June, according to the security firms. Wow. So, yeah, there's a lot of hacking um, regarding bridges. Um, we'll do some more research regarding that. We'll probably cover, you know, a separate video regarding that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be posting that here in Jigs Crypto or in my main channel, Jigs Sanchez. Um, we'll see. Um, I have some lineups that I want to do a educational video, um, regarding crypto you know like web3 you know nfts something like that um but still have not enough time um still have my um eight to five job uh, eight to five job um don't have much time for you know uh more editing more more videos um but we'll see uh i'll, I'll try my best best to um you know entertain you guys <laughs> want to check out my other um youtube project please see the description below and also my main channel is in my description below. 
uh, sorry for the segue, going back to the news, data from Dune Analytics showed that around 7.6 billion have been sent through Tornado Cash since the service started in 2019. Wow, 7.6 billion. Around 1.54 billion of those funds are proceeds from criminal activity according to forensics from Elliptic. So, let's compute. About 15% of 7.6 billion. If, if, if it's correct, <laughs> comment down below. <laughs> Lastly, from the article, in an earlier interview, Roman Semnob, one of the founders of Tornado Cash, has said that it is technically impossible for sanctions to be enforced against the centralized protocols because of how they are designed. Right? Um, yeah, we'll have some more news regarding that. <laughs> um, wait, I'll just need to put some notes regarding the crypto bridge. So I won't forget to put that in my my notes. Uh, probably we need to cover also the cent the centralized um, protocols. So we'll have um, some information regarding it. All right. Going to the next um, news here. This is coming from decrypt.co. Crypto change Sipmex to reopen Bitcoin and Ethereum withdrawals. So troubled crypto exchange Sipmex slated August 11 and August 16 for the release of Ethereum and Bitcoin, respectively. After halting withdrawals in July, the firm's announcement, right? So we know they um, they freeze the withdrawals and there's some other um, coins here that... Uh, is mentioned by this article that Sipmex um, open withdrawals with also. So let's continue with the article here. Um, we will be issuing frequent updates on our plans and timelines to release the remaining affected assets to users via each country's official communication channels, as quoted according to the announcement. So on July 20, Sipmex halted withdrawals from the platform citing financial road roadblocks due to its exposure to Babel Finance and Celsius. So we know what, what happened to Celsius and Babel Finance. Both firms have been at the center of the industry's recent liquidity crisis. So following a restructuring plan, Sipmex has been preparing to work with customers and regulators to ensure funds are returned. So these plans came into fruition um last week when the exchange announced withdrawals from various altcoin, altcoins including Solana, Cardano, and Ripple, right? Um, as quoted, we are working to ensure that we are in full compliance as we start to release some of these tokens into your trade wallet. Starting in the middle of August, said Sipmex announcing the release of the above mentioned altcoins on August 2nd. Um, so yeah, good news. Um, they started with three coins. Um, uh, no, not 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 really three coins. It's including Solana, Cardano, Ripple. So there there are various art altcoins that already been um, reopened for um, withdrawals last week, and then they're continuing to open with. Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? And yeah, I think that's it. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updated with the latest videos. And this is Jigs Crypto signing out.